If you were to tell me 10 years ago that this is a gaming PC and a productivity computer, I would not believe you. Geekum was nice enough to send me their mini gaming and productivity machine, the GT1 Mega, and I gotta say, this thing is incredible. Let's check out the design. This design is premium. I believe this is an aluminum enclosure, very sturdy enclosure, but the one thing is all of these ports. So we got four USB ports on the front with a headphone jack and a power button. Really nice. This is probably my favorite, an SSD card slot. That's amazing because PCs don't even have this built in. And then on the back, you get two ethernet ports, two more USB ports, then two HDMI ports, and then two USB-C ports and a power um, plug-in. Very nice design by Geekum. So let's talk about the most important thing. How does this perform and what kind of specs can I expect with this tiny mini PC? I think the specs will surprise you. The most impressive specification is definitely the CPU. It has a powerful 14th generation Intel CPU. That means that this has a 16 core CPU with 22 threads and 24 megabytes of cache. Most full sized PCs have half of those CPUs and this has double. And those cores perform at 2.3 to 5.1 megahertz. That's pretty dang fast. And with 32 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM, this thing is going to be a productivity beast. You could expand the storage up to 64 gigabytes because they made it easy to open this thing up and actually add RAM. While we're talking about the bottom of this PC, see these two holes? This PC comes with a plate where you could put two screws on it and you could mount it to the back of your monitor. This unit also comes with M.2 storage and it has two terabytes of storage, which is plenty for anyone. And it's super fast PCIe 4 storage. It comes with Wi-Fi 7, which is incredible because that's ultra fast and the latest Bluetooth technology. But what about the GPU? Can it play games? This tiny PC comes with ray tracing and upscaling because it has an Intel Arc GPU. I tested a few games out and I could say I could comfortably play with this mini PC at 1080p 60 to 30 frames per second. I really think that's a bargain because big PCs that are not this size cost about $2,000 but this one is only around $1,100. It's actually on sale right now for $989, which is insane. I just wanna let you know how much value we're getting on our CPU in the mini PC because this is the version you'd get in a gaming PC. And the only difference is the clock speed is higher and the thread count, but you're paying $500 for this PC part and you have to install it on your own when with having a mini PC, it's all included. All you have to do is plug it in and Windows is already installed and that's all you gotta do. And then you just enjoy your games and enjoy your productivity. Just for fun, this is a Arc Intel GPU, which is similar to the one that's in the mini PC. And yeah, it's around like $250 and it's sold out, but yeah. And you have to install this also, which could be a pain. It's just so much easier having this over something huge like this because it's less likely this is going to break and there's less issues because it's all safe inside of this enclosure. You don't have to be a computer genius to use this thing. All you have to do is plug in the power cord, have a keyboard and mouse, plug it in, and you're good to go. 
You don't have to buy Windows 11. It comes with it installed. It's just so convenient. But does this thing get hot or overheat? Not at all. This thing never gets hot. These fans are so strong. I've never seen a mini PC push out this amount of air before. But let's talk about productivity now because that's where I think this mini PC really shines. With that gigantic 16 core CPU, you could do a lot of Lightroom and video editing. I tested out Lightroom and exporting photos from RAW to JPEG was a breeze. I edited videos in 4K and it never lagged at all. This mini PC is really a jack of all trades. With this tiny PC having so much RAM and such a awesome CPU and so much storage, I think this is perfect for productivity. And with all of these ports, you could plug in more storage if you would like, but two terabytes is enough for me. Other companies like Apple will charge you $800 for the two terabyte option. With that $800, you could almost buy this whole mini PC, which has better performance. So this is Apple's brand new Mac mini with the M4 Pro chip. And let's see how much you have to pay for this thing. So I chose the 12 core CPU because the 14, you know, let's, let's go to the 14 core just so it'll match. It's not even 16 cores like the mini PC is. Although these CPU cores are stronger in single core performance, this multi-core score will be lower. Okay. So 24 gigs of memory is lower than the 32 you get in the mini PC. But if you want to get anywhere close, you have to pay 400 more dollars, which kind of sucks. And here, if we update to two terabytes, upgrade it, 600 extra dollars, which is insane. And you know what? You have to add a hundred dollars to even get a gigabit ethernet port. And you have to wait on it because not all of them have it. So you have to order it. Yeah, no thank you. So that's a hundred extra dollars for that. And let's see what the grand total would be. All right. You're going to be paying $2,300 for maybe the same thing you're getting with the other PC that costs $900. I also want to mention that the ports on the Mac mini, you don't get as many. So you only get two USB-C ports on the front. You get, this looks so bad compared to the mini PC. So you get the power ethernet. You have to pay an extra hundred dollars for that. One HDMI instead of two, and you get three um, USB-C ports. And you know what? You get zero USB ports. I know USB is kind of fading away, but I feel like that it's still something you should have. There's always an option to buy a external GPU so you could play at 4K or whatever frame rate you want. Because the HDMI outlets go up to 8K and 4K 120 hertz. With this only using 65 watts of power, I don't understand how it does that because the performance is outrageous. I guess you'll be saving on your electric bill instead of buying a huge PC that is up to 700 watts. I really do think mini PCs are going to get very powerful in a couple of years and this one is probably the most powerful mini PC I have ever seen. To have a PC that could literally fit in your pocket is such a gain for 2025. You might as well put this in your backpack instead of your laptop because this will perform 10 times faster than any laptop on the market right now. One thing I think is very compelling is the price point and value. If you buy an Apple Mac Mini right now with the similar performance, you're going to have to spend at least $1,600. And good luck trying to find games you could play on the Apple ecosystem because you probably can't find any on Steam because they're not supported. 
overall you're going to spend less money on this and get a lot more out of it. Of course I want to thank Geekum for sending me their mini PC product because this is the most powerful mini PC on the market and I was super impressed. And yeah, if you want to check out this product, it is on the Geekum website and it is on sale right now, so check it out. Make sure to follow Geekum to keep up with their latest products on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Thanks, guys.